Meat bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Today I've got another weapon chest location guide for you guys and we're going to be covering all the chests in Pity's Fall. So here we are in the first area, really close to the fast travel, that's just down there. And in this first area, when you come to these shacks, uh, you're going to run underneath it. And if we turn around and just head over here, you can see there's a small dial chest sat here, just here. So that's very close to spawn and can be speed farmed very quickly. As you can see, not a long run at all, but that's the first chest anyway. Next, you're going to head into the first main area, straight ahead of the buildings and then come outside. And uh, at the very top of here, if you jump up, there is a red moon chest which is also part of the Bosun's Mate Badass Rank Challenge. So make sure you pick that one up. There's three of these in this map, so uh, I'll show you all them in due time. But there it is on the map anyway. And then from here, all we're going to do is just drop down a level from the very top to the middle level, which is just here. And uh, right underneath that other chest is a small doll chest as well to pick up. So two chests in this area, which is pretty handy, very close together. And uh, once again, there it is on the map. Next we're going to head into the next area and we're going to come right into the right hand side of this and run along this fence once you jump on top of it because we need to hit this pad here and slam down on it. As you can see that changes from green to red and uh, all this does is deactivates a force field in this room that we're heading in now and uh, allows us to get to the second of the bosun's mate chests. So without slamming on that jump pad there would be an electrical force field there and we could not get into this room. So make sure you get that force field pad slammed down upon but there it is in the area anyway and uh, that is the second of the bosun's uh, little secret chests which are part of a challenge so from there we're going to come out of the room head straight up and then hit to the left and we're just going to run all the way up and uh, head for the next area but once you get up these stairs into this room turn left and then right at the end of this room just here is another small dog chest for you guys to pick up and uh, once again a map reference after that we're going to head up to the very top of the map and there are two chests to pick up in this bosun's control room. Uh, the first is right in the middle, at the very bottom. There is like a big uh, runway or a gangway. And uh, if we just jump over this fence on the left hand side, there is another small dial chest. So there it is on the map. And then next we're going to be heading to the very top right of this room on the map. And uh, all you've got to do is turn around, run back up this uh, gangway and uh, head for this jump pad at the top of the stairs on the left. Hit the jump pad and that's going to take us to the very top layer of this uh, area and in this room as you can see another small dial chest to pick up so here it is on the map now after this you can run down the, the center of this quite clear place in the middle and that'll bring you out over here this is the area where we're heading towards fight the the little poop deck guy if you remember in the storyline but before that we're just going to come into this room as we pop out on top of this ladder and at the very top here is a small dial chest to pick up. So right there, and as you can see, we're just coming out of the map here now because we're heading from area to area in the little secret passageway. And uh, next to it is a moonstone chest, which will cost you 40 moonstones to open, but they always pretty much guarantee purples and blues, so make sure you pick that one up as well. Once again, there it is on the map, side by side. Next, we're in the area where we've just fought Poop Deck. We've just killed him right here. And in this room, when you've just beaten poop deck come in and uh, there's a small dial chest waiting for you just afterwards so there it is on the map and uh, obviously now we're heading back towards where we came in so there's one more area to pick up and that is just here and uh, right at the top we're going to hit a jump pad here we're going to supercharge it by shooting at it that will send it flying we're going to run up and then do a big u-turn right over here and we're aiming to land on this metal platform here and after we do, there's another small dial chest just here to pick up. So there it is. And uh, on the map, as you can see. And then from here, we're just going to turn around, jump right back down and uh, head into the next little area. So to the right here, we're going to come and then to the left again. This will drop down into the very first room pretty much where you come into. But uh, right before you uh, do come out to the first area, pick up this dial chest, which is just here. And uh, there you go, so now we're going to be heading towards the bottom area of the map, towards the bosun, and there's a couple of chests to pick up there. So after you defeat the bosun, you're going to uh, head into this room here, and as you can see there's a small chest there, but the door is shut, so you're going to come in here, and uh, all you have to do is just go right around the other side, and it'll allow you to get to this little dial chest just here. 
So that is all the small door chests done now and uh, we're going to go right to the very end room where we uh, talk to Felicity and find out, not Felicity, the skipper and find out she's uh, actually a computer and when you enter this last room you will find two chests in here one is a moonstone chest, once again that will cost you 40 moonstones so there it is on the right hand side at the bottom and then directly opposite if we turn around there is another moon chest and once again that is part of the bosun's mate challenge so that is the third chest so uh, if you pick up all these chests you will get that baddest rank challenge as well but uh, yeah that's it anyway guys quite a big map and uh, quite a lot of chests in this one really loads of small dial chests you've obviously got the bosun's mate three moon chests and um, two moonstone chests as well so make sure you bring 80 moonstones along with you if you want to fully farm all of these chests but uh, yeah that's it anyway and obviously you've got the uh, the fight against uh, the bosun as well for the cryophobia in the load of blue and uh, he'll also drop quite a lot of moonstone so uh, make sure you pick them up but that's it anyway guys that is weapon chest location guide on pity's fall hope you guys have enjoyed if there's any chests that i've missed be sure to drop it down in the comments and uh, if i find one that i didn't know about because of you guys i will uh, re-edit into the video and give you a little shout out as a thanks but uh, for now that's it weapon chest location guide on pity's fall Check out the link in the description for the playlist for the rest of the weapon chest location guides. They'll all go in there. Thanks for watching everyone. I will see you guys in the next video. Meet bicycle!